You've been around so many years now, you never get tired of it, or you have a good assistance and good band and everything. Is that something? Uh, I have the best band in the world. First of all, I have the best band, not a better band. And, uh, and no, when the shows are good, it's great. And the shows have been, this is like one of the best tours we've had in 15 years. How is it now? I understand you must take care of your, your delicate voice, so to speak. Now, how do you do that uh, to keep it during uh, long nights, live on stage, outside like this? Well, you, you just, you're disciplined. You don't talk, you, you don't, you're disciplined. You stay in your room, you don't talk on days off, you warm up on days off, you warm up, you warm up, you warm up twice, you warm down, you warm up on days off, you don't talk, you take care of it. How it, last time we met, you just released Bad Out of Hell 3. How has it been so far with the reviews? And you know, uh, the, yeah, Well, I, I just, the reviews have been pretty, pretty good on it. I just wish that the record business was different than it was. Because it is one great, great record. And I, more people should hear it, in bottom line. And it's just, it's just sad that uh, you know, people are more interested in, in, in a bad record because the girl has nice hits and a good mid-drift as opposed to hearing some good fucking music and I, it pisses me off you know what what I got to do a sex change to you know sell music and it's, it's stupid it's a it, Bad Out of Hell 3 is a great record I feel also when I listen to it after you met I listen to the whole album it, there's some of course some great ballads if I may call them so and of and a lot of really hard rock more hard rock than earlier or am I wrong or I think You're right yeah we're doing a couple of them tonight How come you want to go to that area of hard rock this time? Uh, well, no, I've all well, started there, didn't you? But if, it, but it, it, anybody who knows knows that the, the the it was always much heavier live than it was on record. Every record, Bad Out of Hell, when we did Bad Out of Hell live, is much more rocked live than it is on the record. And then I also seen, I must tell you, because I think you're a great actor, and I just seen the Master of Horror with, the, he's a good friend of mine, Dario Argento, you have yeah. that, yeah, how was it to work with, it's a fantastic part in Pell. Oh, I, I, I really enjoyed working with Dario, yeah. How was it to do this, to, to go into that area, because it's a really bloody horror film? Uh, I don't watch horror films, so it, it was an, uh, that's why I did it, because it was taking me somewhere where I've never gone before. So how was it to, to work with Dario? As, as a, he's a very special person. Oh, Dario is fantastic. I work with Dario in a second. Yeah. So the acting, you're still. You, you told me you turned a lot. You turned down a lot of scripts. Is yeah, it still? We turn, so? Yeah, we're turning down a lot of stuff, but because we're touring, I've got another 40. I've got to finish off this. I don't know how many shows. We we'll got another 10 here, and then another 40 in the states, and then we come back another 20, and then we got 20 in Australia, and then. Then we got a, another 40 or 60 after that. So, so you're, you're really busy, though, isn't it? So, yeah. How does it feel? I'm just working. I just do what I'm like. I'm a plumber. I, it's, the plumber's really busy too. But you, got but you pipes. What about your family life and being home and taking uh, it easy? My my wife just was here for a while. Okay. Yeah, my girls are grown, so they're fine. And now. Behind us, we can hear a quiet riot. You're going to be on the big festival stage tonight, meeting the audience while the sun is setting down. That must be great. Sweden loves you. Have done so many. We'll find out, won't we? So um, <laughs> I think they will. Okay. <laughs> nice Thank talking you. to you. That's yeah. Good.